Street Smarts. One man, one microphone, one mission. He's Frank Nicotero, putting Americans to the test, one question at a time. What color is Gumby? Green. What's he sound like when he talks? He squeaks. He squeaks? Give me, give me. Don't make me squeak, Fred. It's Frank. Remember the name. <laughs> made you squeak. Frank made me squeak. He's Frank Nicotero. At least I got my name right. Street Smarts. Think you've got him? Find out now. Street Smarts. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Street Smarts. I'm Frank Nicotero. You know, there's nothing better than a sunny afternoon, time on my hands, and being able to take part in the greatest American pastime, traveling around the country asking people for answers. I don't know why you look so confused. I didn't say the great American pastime baseball. I said the greatest American pastime street smart. Yeah. See? Yeah. Then I come back yeah. here and see which of our in-studio right. contestants can guess who answered foul and who hit him out of the park. And here are our contestants. We got Brian right here. What's up, Brian? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. And Sean yeah. Kay right there. Yeah. Look how pretty she is. Now, you may have both walked in here on equal, uh, equal footing, but only one of you will run out of here with the cash prize, which means the other will have to shuffle out all sad and stuff because you lost. So, let's shake a leg and meet our three street savants. First up, homecoming queen Natalie tells us some of her nasty nicknames. So, Natalie, where are you from? Las Vegas, Nevada. So, Natalie, you were elected homecoming queen. Yes. And now what do you do? I'm going to UNLV, this spa. And what are you going to go for? I'm majoring in communication. Do you have any nicknames? Yeah, Nasty Nat and Malibu Barbie. If you could date anyone famous, who would it be? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Yeah, but I'd probably date you, though. All right. Good answer. And Joelle, the cashier, explains why it's nice to change places with a model. So, Joelle, what do you do? I'm a cashier at Valley's. And where are you originally from? Uh, Lebanon. So, from Lebanon. Now, you were born there? Yes. If you could trade places with anyone in the world, who would it be? Some sort of model or something. I just want to be rich. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the last book you read? Oh, Islands of the Blue Dolphins in fifth grade. Oh, okay. So since fifth grade, not much? Basically. Okay. <laughs> you call Glamour and, you know, Cosmo. Oh, at least you're reading. <laughs> Finally, Chris recognizes a true genius when he sees one. Where are you from? From Lone Beach, California. The LBC. LBC. If you could marry someone famous, who would it be? Holly Berry. And what's your best would... advice your parents would give you? Don't get a girl pregnant. <laughs> You haven't, have you? Nah. Okay. nah. Who's someone you consider to be a genius? You! Me? You're a genius! I'm a genius. You come up with this show? Hey. I didn't really... Well, yeah, I did. All right. Yeah. All right, Chris. All right, kicking it off old school style. Let's find out. Who knew it? I asked all three the same question. You guys have to figure out who got it right. The correct guess gets you $100. All right. Here we go. Here's the first question I asked to Natalie, Joel, and Chris. You might know your credit card's APR, but what does APR stand for? So who knew it up there, guys? You tell me who knew it, and I'll give you 100 bucks. Was it Natalie? Was it Joel? Was it Chris? Lock in as quickly as you can. And you're both locked in. You both think Joel knows, huh, Brian? You think she's the one? She looks intelligent. I think she's got a couple you credit cards. And oh! Oh, it's Sean's time right now. All right, let's see if we get you 200 bucks. You might know your credit card's APR, but what does APR stand for? Annual percentage rate. That's right. Now you have a credit card? I do. It's declined right now. Because is it over a limit? Oh, yeah. You got to pay that off because now you're just going to pay the interest. I was hoping you'd pay it for me, Frankie. Okay. <laughs> we both had Joel. Way to go. That's 100 bucks for each of you. That's the way we like to start off the show. And we also like to start off with a funny wrong answer, so watch Chris's. You might know your credit card's APR, but what does APR stand for? Apartment. 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 Yeah. Your apartment. Apartment for rental. Oh, okay. <laughs> apartment for rental's not right. All right, let's move on to the next question. To say. If it's 0600 hours in military time, what time is it? 0600 hours in military, military time. What time is it? Who knew it? Was it Natalie, Joel, or Chris? Lock in when you guys can. All right. And you're both locked in, and you think Chris knows this time, huh, Shanze? Yeah, you know, he looked kind of intelligent. Well, he didn't get the first one right, so I'm giving right. him another chance. Okay, one more, let's, one more check, chance. let's check it out. <laughs> if it's 0600 hours in military time, what time is it? It's, it's time to eat lunch. Well, so what time, I'm like, according? It's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, if it's 0600? A.M. Okay. Or noon, I mean noon. Noon. P.M. Okay. Shantay, I'm yeah. sorry, Chris did not know that one. Now, Brian, it, you think that. Natalie knows, huh? Yeah, man, she looks like she hangs around with a lot of Marines, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if it's 0600 in military time, what time is it? 6 a.m. You know military time? Are you familiar with it? 
a little bit. What's 1,700 hours? What time is that? Um, I think it's 4 p.m., but I'm not sure. 5. Well, oh, 5 p.m. Yeah. I'll count my fingers. <laughs> she got the right way to go, Brian. You're two for two. You got 200 bucks. All right, last question of the round. I asked all three. According to the popular belief, what saint is in charge of letting people through the gates of heaven? So who knew what one of them up there did? Natalie, Joelle, or Chris? You guys tell me. Give me 100 bucks. Brian, you're two two here, going for a perfect score. All right, you're both locked in. Let's see, you're both going with Joelle. Sean, say, you think she knows? I think I know. I think I know. No, I don't know. I think she, <laughs> I, I think she knows. Yeah, I think she knows. Okay, she let's take a look for both of you. According to popular belief, what saint is in charge of letting people through the gates of heaven? St. Paul. St. Paul? Sure. It's actually St. Peter. Oh. Let's you through. You think you'll get through the gates? He. Maybe. Well, not if you say pee pee when you get up there. Paul, Peter, same thing. <laughs> ah, you both went, with, both went with Joelle. She did not know that answer. You know what the correct answer this time? Chris. Chris, according to popular belief, what saint is in charge of letting people through the gates of heaven? St. Peter. <laughs> right, it is St. Peter. No, thank you. What are you going to say to St. Peter when you get up there to heaven? What's cracking? <laughs> St. Peter, where Jesus at? He's able to get me in. Where Jesus at? And he's, he's going to open the velvet rope and you're going to walk right in. He's going to walk right in. That's Jesus. <laughs> I love Chris. All right, let's recap the scores. Uh, Sean says he's got 100 bucks. Brian's got 200 yeah. bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. The audience, yes, they were very good. Audience was good, contestants good. That means you guys can come back and catch the excitement when the questions value double. You people at home, I'm not so sure about. You better prove me wrong. Things get heavenly when we come back. Which famous Beatle album has an all-white album cover? <clears throat> no idea who the Beatles are. Sports. Let's meet our in-studio contestants. Now we have Brian here. Brian, Baldwin Park, California. Used to make surfboards. Yeah, and uh, one day I forgot to uh, open up a window. I ended up fiberglassing myself to the table on a surfboard. I had to wait about an hour for my boss to come set me free. And... So did you loosen yourself up with a little sex wax? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know surfer lingo. Maybe get a bevy. All right, now we have the lovely Shansay here. Yes, now, we Shansay, do. you're yes, from Pomona, do. California. You're a, sh a shoe sales clerk. Yes, I'm a shoe oh, sales right. clerk. And for the first month, I had no proper training, didn't know right. how to find the shoes in the back. So I'll help a customer. I'll go in the back, pretend to look, then be I, go back out and be like, no, we don't have your shoes. I did that same thing. I sold yeah. shoes. I did the same yeah, thing. Nice. And for you at home, yes, I wear size 15D. Oh. Okay, all right. <laughs> Let's recap the scores. Uh, <laughs> Shansay's got 100 bucks. Yeah. Brian's got 200 yeah. bucks. He's got the meat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out. Who blew it? All right, I have the same question, only two people at a time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. A correct guess earned you $200. Yes, yeah. there was the dunce count. Yeah. I can only use once this yeah. round. You think your opponent doesn't know an answer to a question? Buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get 200 bucks. If they're right, they get the 200 bucks. Much like the morning, the dunce cap can get crotchety, so watch out. So here's the first question I asked to both Joel and Chris. How many players are in the starting lineup of a baseball team? So, oh, you've been dodged, Brian, by Sean Zay. All right, I'm going to read the question again. You have five seconds to answer it. $200 on the table. How many players are in the starting lineup of a baseball team? Twelve. That's a wrong answer, Brian. Sean Zay, you get the money. Way to go. You know how to lead. You're up to 300 bucks. All right, now both of you, who blew it up here? What do you think? Lock in when you can. Brian, evidently not a big baseball fan. That's all right, Brian. I'll show you the right answer here, but you guys are looking for the wrong one, so lock in and... Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right, you think Joelle blew it, huh, Brian? Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't think she's a big baseball fan. Okay, let's take a look. How many players are in the starting lineup of a baseball team? Um, nine. <laughs> Tell me your thought process. What were you counting there? How many... Yeah, I'm a left field, mid center, right. Shortstop, first, second, third, pitcher, catcher. Very nice. She got it right, Brian. I'm sorry, Joel knew. That's the correct answer. It's nine. That's tough Brian. for you. Nine. <laughs> okay, all right. It looks you like think about Chris Moore for Sean and... Say. Yeah, no. How many players are in the starting lineup of a baseball team? 30. 30? <laughs> like 30 of them. He was counting three teams plus a couple more there. All right. Way to go, Sean Say. He blew it. You're up to 500 bucks. Okay, here's the next question I asked to Natalie and to Joel. I asked both lovely ladies. In their ads, how does Rollades spell relief? Well, do you so, who blew it? John, say, stop it. So who blew it up there? One of them did. Was it Natalie or Joel? You guys tell me. I'll give you 200 bucks. All right. And you're both locked in. You both think Natalie. Shantae, she won't know this one? No. 
I don't even think she'll spell it. I don't even, I don't know, man. She's kind of She has to. All right, let's find out. In their ads, how does Rolades spell relief? R-O-L-A. And it rips it and then I-D-S. You're even like creating the visual for people at home. And then it rips and then a i d s. Ha-ha! You both know that. Like, no, she got what? it right. Why are you clapping? She got it right. You were ripping on her and she got it right. <laughs> what? Maybe you don't know how to spell Wait the name Shantae. Shantae, Sashay, whatever. <laughs> Joelle's the one who blew it. What? Whatever. In their ads, how does Rolades spell relief? R E L I E F. Right. They just spell relief, relief. Relief, yeah. <laughs> That's who the wrong answer, it? yes. Who Here in the who it's blew ever. it round. All right. Correct <laughs> answer, O L A I D S. I only said it eight times. Okay, here's the next question. Last one around to Natalie Lewis. and to Chris. Lewis. If you're starting over, you're turning over a new what? So who Lewis? blew it? Okay. <laughs> so log in there, Sean Say. I love it. All right, you're both logged in. You think Chris blew it, Brian? You think he doesn't know? I don't think he knows. All right, Brian. let's take a look. If you're starting over, you're turning over a new what? A new leaf. That's right, new leaf. That's your correct answer. You both went with Chris. I'm sorry, I can't give any money. Oh, Natalie yeah. blew it. Here it is. If you're starting over, you're turning over a new what? A new trend. A new trend. A new trend. That was the wow. wrong answer. All right, let's recap the scores here. Brian, the big baseball fan's got 200 bucks. Sean Say got 500 bucks for winning. We'll be turning over an even funnier leaf after this break, so don't turn over a new station. Stick around. Natalie, pronounce this word. Click. Click. Okay. Oh, there's that old cliche. Uh oh, oh. it's a cliche. <laughs> See, I am a cliche. <laughs> What's a cliche? You know, cliches like. Uh... <laughs> Can you name one of the four Beatles? Paul. Paul. John. Smith. George. Ringo. Oh, Ringo. What? Everyone knows oh. Ringo's last name. Ringo. Oh, He's Ringo. a big. Um, singer. Stop. Hey, welcome back. Well, braid my tail. It's time to pick your pony. Each contestant will choose one person for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. Correct predictions worth 300 bucks now, you guys. Yeah. And the dunce cap is back. It's worth 300 bucks, and you can only use it once. Now, recap on the scores here. Brian, you got 200 bucks. Sean, say 500 bucks. Claire Trelling goes first, Brian, that's you. So who would you like to down. pick? So who are you going with, Brian? Going, going with Joelle. Joelle. She looks okay. like she can saddle up. All right. Sean Say, how about you? He looks uh, rideable. I think going with rideable. Chris? All right. OK, Brian, first question of the round for you to Joelle. What color is Gumby? What do you think? What color is Gumby? Think she got it right or wrong, Brian? She, she got, got it right. Much. She got this one she right? She got it right. I think let's, she watched Gumby. Let's take a look. Joelle, what color is Gumby? Green. What's he sound like when he talks? Like, he squeaks. He squeaks? Give me, give me. Don't make me squeak, Fred. <laughs> it's Frank. Oh. Call me Fred. She got it right, Brian. Right. That's all right. 500 bucks for you. We got a tie game. Uh, Gumby is green, damn it. All right. Shante, here's your first question to Chris. Okay. What ring of light appears over the head of angels? Oh my God, you've been dunced, Brian. I'm going to read the entire question for you. You have five seconds to answer it. 300 bucks on the line, Brian. What yeah. ring of light appears over the head of angels and other divine figures? Gold. That's the wrong answer. I'm sorry, Brian. Sean said you get 300 Woo! bucks on the lead. Nice job. Now, Sean said, you think yeah. Chris got it right or wrong? Well, the question. Uh, what I'm ring so of light sorry. appears over the head of angels and other divine figures? Say, what do you think he's, he'll get it? Wrong. OK, let's take yeah, a look. Yeah, wrong. Sorry, wrong. What ring of light appears over the head of angels and other divine figures? A halo. Is there a halo above your head? Halo. I'm Christopher. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, you got it right, Sean. Say, yeah, yeah, it was great. a halo. Terrific. Very good. Whatever. <laughs> All right, here's your next question, Brian, to Joel. What group sang the song Staying Alive from the movie, for the movie Saturday Night Fever? I'm sorry, the crew's just laughing at Halo. All right. <laughs> so, what do you think? You think he got this one wrong? Uh, I she, think she got, got this it wrong. one wrong. She got it wrong. <laughs> All right, Brian, let's take a look. <laughs> what group sang the song Staying Alive? for the movie Saturday Night Fever. The Bee Gees? <laughs> what year were you born? 83. See, that movie was from 1977. You weren't even born yet, but you got it right. It is the Bee Gees. Woo! 
I made you squeak. Frank made me squeak. At least you got the name right. <laughs> she got it right. I'm sorry, oh, Brian. She knew the Bee Gees. Darn she was, it, gosh, uh, Willie. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dave. Stop taunting. Even though you're sorry. winning, you shouldn't be doing I am that. Winning. I All right, know. here's the next question to Chris for you. In the in the music world, what does vinyl refer to? I think you got that right or wrong. You got a $300 lead. You can increase it right here. Go ahead, say it. You have to say. Right. You think you got it right? I think you got it right. I'm sorry. I think you got it right. All right, let's take a look. In the music world, what does vinyl refer to? Record. Right there, you can see not a lot of people remember vinyl anymore. I mean, you're a young guy, but you're still down with the vinyl. Still down with vinyl. Way to go, Sean. So you got it right. Thanks for two hundred dollars. Congratulations for doing great. Okay, you each have one more in this round. Brian, you need this one to get back in the game here. I asked Joelle, in the Friday the 13th movies, what was the killer's first name? So what do you think, Brian? You think Joelle could tell me? I think she got it right. Think she got it right? Yeah, I think Let's she got it. Let's find out. In the Friday the 13th movies, what was the killer's first name? Michael. 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 Dun, dun, dun. Michael. She got it wrong. I'm sorry, Brian. Oh. I think she was thinking of Michael Myers from Halloween. Yeah. Jason. Jason is from Friday the 13th. Jason Voorhees, actually, is his last name. Dad. All right, don't worry about it. We got one more question here for you, Shantae. What do yes. you Here you go. I'm ready. As a sign of respect when someone important dies, uh -huh. flags are flown at half what? I think you got it right or wrong, Shantae. You got a lead here. You can increase it. I think it. he can do this one. You I think, think so? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's see if you mm -hmm. can get a bigger lead for the wager. Okay. As a sign of respect when someone important dies, flags are flown at half what? Half your speed. You're not going to go fast when people dig. That's a wrong answer, Sean Sam. I'm sorry. I the correct know. answer is half mast. All right, let's recap the scores here. Brian, you got 500 bucks. Not bad. Sean Say, $1,100. When we return, Brian and Sean Say will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Natalie, Joel, and Chris. I asked them, when it's summer in Miami, Florida, what season is it in Sydney, Australia? You know the score. The entire game is about to be decided in. The wager of the wager death. Come back, mate. Brian and Shantae, here's the skinny. During the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they would get the question right or wrong, and made a wager not to exceed your total. We got a good game here. Brian's got 500 bucks. Shantae, yeah. 1100 yeah. dollars. You're both great kids. I like you a lot. Too bad there's only room for one final question and one final answer and only one final winner. And here's a question I asked to Natalie, Joel, and Chris. I asked them when it's summer in Miami, Florida, what season is it in Sydney, Australia? So, Brian, you got 500 bucks, so if you win some money today, who's, who do you, uh, what are you gonna do with the money? I'm gonna buy my partner's car off of him. Buy your partner's car, very nice, Sean Say, what are you gonna do? Go shopping. Go shopping, that's what all the ladies say. All right, Brian, so you wanna try to win this game, whose clip do you wanna see? Joelle. Going with Joelle, all right, yeah. Sean Say, how about you? Chris. You're going with Chris. All right, that means nobody chose Natalie. We'll say bye to Natalie, thank you, Natalie, you were great. And uh, Brian, you're going with Joelle, you're trailing right now. You went with Joelle a lot today, let's see what she says. When it's summer in Miami, Florida, what season is it in Sydney, Australia? Hmm. Winter. That's a correct answer. The correct answer. They're down under, so they're flip-flop from us here in America. So, Brian, you went with Joelle. Yeah. We just saw her answer it right. What did you say she would do? Said she'd get it right. Nice job, Brian. All right, how much did you wager of that 500 bucks? He oh, wins it all of the baby. Oh, takes him to 1,000. All right, Brian, nice job. That's the best you could do. Now, Sean, say, you went yeah. with Chris. All right. Yeah. You went with Chris. Yeah. All right. You, know, you feeling confident here? He let me down, so I think he may help me. OK, let's take a look at his clip, see what he says. When it's summer in Miami, Florida, what season is it in Sydney, Australia? It's summertime. It's summer there, too. Summer, summertime. OK, that's a wrong answer. As we heard before, winner is the correct answer. Sean, say, you went with Chris. Mm -hmm. He got it wrong. What did you say? You said he would get it right. Oh, no. All right. How much of your 1100 did you wager? If you wagered less than 100 you won. Oh, no. She went for all of it. Buster down to zero. Brian just yeah. won 1000 bucks. Yeah. What have we learned today on Street Smarts? APR doesn't mean apartment for rent. Yeah. And there's not 30 members on a baseball team or 12, yeah. even though Brian won. It's only nine. All right. We'll see you next time on Emily. When it's summer in Miami, Florida, what season is it in Sydney, Australia? Winter. Winter. Winter.